Hi, I'm Rashawn Eleven with Keller Williams Realty. Welcome to my commonly asked closing question series. So today's topic is on escrow accounts, otherwise known as impound accounts. So your escrow is going to be made of three elements. So the first item is private mortgage insurance. If you have a loan that requires private mortgage insurance, that will be included in your escrow or impound account. The monthly property taxes are going to be included as well. Monthly homeowners and condo insurance will be included as well. Though, something to keep in mind, if you have a condo, you're not going to have homeowner's insurance also. It's either one or the other. You're not going to have to have homeowner's insurance and condo insurance. That's it's just one item, different kind of policy. So what's not included in your escrow? If you are purchasing it in a homeowner's association, the HOA is not included, though you still have to pay it. That's part of uh, what's in your agreement. You'll have a um, plan unit development writer attached to your documents that you sign. If you're in a condo association, that is not included in your escrow account, but though you are responsible for paying, taking care of the payment. And if there is a front foot benefit that is going to be in Maryland, you will have to pay for that separately, and that is usually an annual item that you have to pay. So let's talk about property taxes and escrows. So property taxes are paid twice a year. The lender pays the amount out of your impound account when the amount is due. So if money is owed from you, if the balance falls short, you will get a call stating that the account needs to be adjusted and they need money from you. If money is owed to you, if the balance has an overage, so say you've been putting money into the escrow account all this time and they actually have too much money, so they'll give you a check back and you'll get a check back for the overage amount. But something to keep in mind about property taxes. So depending on when you close during the year and the amount that actually can be held in your impound account when you actually close, they may have to go ahead and pay the amount ahead of time before it's due. So it's important to understand when items are due because that may change the amount that you actually have to bring to closing. I've seen at times people having to pay, you know, four to six months in addition to starting the escrow account. So that's important to understand when the bill is due ahead of time, um, really before you even start looking at houses. So next item, so homeowner's insurance. Homeowner's insurance is always paid in advance for the upcoming year. It's a full yearly premium paid at closing. In the future, the amount is paid from your escrow account by your lender when the amount is due. It can be changed at a later date to a different insurance provider. Let's say, you know, you have ABC insurance. You say, ah, yeah, I don't like them anymore. I want to go with Allstate or State Farm or whoever. You can choose to change that, though the lender has to be notified of this change and it's special, special right or special policy, special verbiage that actually has to go in the policy and your current one that you actually need to have what's called a goodbye letter and then you have a new uh, company that you're going to go with. So that's important to make sure that you understand how to do that and I also have a video on how to do that as well that I'll put in the comment section. And that's all for this series. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any additional questions, give me a call at 240-284-4114. Thank you for watching.